Since we haven't talked about a proper conservation law yet, we're going to work with a um, work energy theorem in order to solve this problem. You could see that the force of gravity in the x direction with a tilted coordinate system is the uh, component of force that is doing work on this skier. So the force of gravity in the x direction is the only force or the component force that's making the skier go down the slope. So that's just going to be part of the work equation. What's the work equation we're going to use is going to be the work energy theorem. W is equal to delta KE. Now delta is equal to the force that is going in the direction of motion, which in this case is going to be the force of gravity in the x direction, which goes in the direction of motion. And then the dot product goes away because of the fact that these are going to be parallel. That ends up being mg sine theta delta x. Now again, using a little bit of geometry, this theta here is going to equal the theta here. The theta here being 10, this theta here is going to be equal to 10 as well. And so you have yourself this right triangle relating the components of the force of gravity to the actual down, motion, uh, down force of gravity that's acting on the skier here. So this would be a sine function since we are away, we're furthest away from the theta that's given here. And that's, you know, via Sokotoa, we're going to have fg of x equal to fg sine of that theta here, which is the theta here. Um, that being said, let's go ahead and move on. Delta Ke now is going to be the change in kinetic energy. And this is what we're trying to find out. Minus mv naught squared. Okay, so since W is equal to delta Ke, then this is equal to that, and this is equal to, this is equal to that. Let's go ahead and write that down. Mg sine theta delta x is equal to one half m vf squared minus one half m v naught squared. First thing is all m's get canceled out. Let's go ahead and solve for VF. That's what we're trying to look for. VF is then going to equal to mg sine theta delta x plus one half V naught multiplied all by two and taking the square root of. So it's a little bit messy, but uh, that's how you would solve for VF in one fell swoop. Uh, M is given, oh, I'm sorry, M is gone, so it doesn't matter. G is given as 9.8 meters per second squared. Theta is given at 10 degrees. Delta X is 50 meters. V naught is 2.0 meters per second. If you plug all this into your calculator, you're gonna get VF equaling to 13.2 meters per second. And to get it into proper significant figure form, it would just be 13 meters per second. So a skier going initially at two meters per second slides down without friction along 50 meters along this 10 degree slope. The speed at the end of that 50 meters is gonna thus be 13 meters per second. 